Sunita Williams, my next guest on the news are tonight, has quite literally demolished boundaries every step of the way. She is only the second woman commander of the International Space Station. She has spent a record-breaking 322 days in space and over 50 hours of its spacewalking. The Indian American is an absolute inspiration for millions across the world. And I am so privileged that she is joining us tonight from the NASA headquarters right here on the news hour. Sunita, I am so privileged to speak to you. You have been to the International Space Station twice in the last six years. 322 days in space, including your two long duration missions. You are today the second most experienced female astronaut in history behind NASA's Peggy Whitson. This is an incredible achievement. I want you to look back on it. <laughs> well, you know, um, I think it's just a matter of opportunity. Uh, I'm lucky to be in a uh, right place at the right time. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know all the numbers and the statistics. So uh, I, I appreciate you uh, taking the interest and the time to uh, understand that type of stuff. Um, like I said, it's just a matter of opportunity and making sure that uh, the people, myself in this instance, is uh, ready and uh, able to do what we need to do for the space program. So um, I I'm honored to, uh, to have the opportunities to do the things that I got to do this time. So thank you. Thank you, Sunita, for, for being so humble. Through your four months in orbit, the most commendable part, which everyone spoke about, was how you maintained contact with everyone back here, including you did television interviews from space. Well, um, I, I think it's just a, a natural thing. You know, you want to stay connected to people on Earth, and of course, you want to stay connected to your roots. So, um, and Diwali, I know, is a is a big fun festival time frame of the year. Uh, I was just so psyched that I got to actually talk to the kids on the ham radio in Gujarat, as well, and and as well as uh, India's Independence Day. So, yes. all those things are important. It ties you back to Earth. It ties you back to your roots. And so, I wanted to make sure I made a made a note of those things and and participate and wanted to greet the people of India. Well, it was, it was really appreciated. Uh, this is your second visit, Sunita, in the last six years. Uh, did you have the same rush, uh, the same level of excitement as the first time? That's a great question. You know, the first time the International Space Station was still under construction. So we had a lot to do to maintain or, or continue building it, yes. um, which included a bunch of spacewalks as well as uh, rearranging a lot of equipment inside as we were getting ready to add modules. This time, you know, the space station is established essentially. Uh, maybe one or two more modules will come up in the future. But for the, for the moment right now, uh, it is a working laboratory. And so we got to do a lot of more science experiments while we were up there and really uh, use the space station as it was meant to be as a national laboratory doing experiments from all over the world as, as well as doing a lot of uh, other things too including um, greeting visiting vehicles for uh, the first time so that's a pretty neat uh, opportunity and then we actually even got to do a spacewalk because every now and then stuff breaks yes. up there I, I want to talk to you about that as well uh, there is a lot of curiosity about the future of space tourism a lot of us want to go into space I don't know if you can afford it or will ever be able to afford it, but how do you see it develop in the future, Sunita? Well, it's an interesting question. I, you know, I've always said that I wish everybody on the planet had the opportunity to take a lap around the planet and really see uh, our 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 home from that perspective. So, you know, in my mind, I really hope space tourism takes a, uh, gets a, a boost and, and really happens and people actually do get to take a chance to go to space. I think everybody needs to do it. Um, I'm just lucky to have a job that allowed me to do that on a, for a couple times. But I really hope that it, it gets a kick and it starts to go and everybody gets a chance to do it someday. Oh, yes. I cannot agree more with you. Uh, how does it feel to be, you know, held on with a rope and out there in space? Michael Jackson did the moonwalk. You do the spacewalk. How does it feel to go out into space? 
You know, it's uh, you know everyone asks us if, if it's scary, and you know you yes. open the hatch and you actually look down and the planet's going by, and it it um, to me it's not scary. It's actually just beautiful. You have the opportunity, and I've heard another astronaut describe it before, where you're someplace beautiful and you could look out the window and you can see it, and that's what it's like being inside the space station. But when you actually get to go out into that beautiful place, um, that's what it's like. Is as though you were going out to climb a mountain rather than sitting inside in a house just looking out the window at the mountain. Um, it's sort of a, a similar scenario where you can get out there and you just have the helmet essentially between your eyes and the whole universe or your eyes and looking down at the planet. You could turn your head in any direction. You could look out at the stars. You could look at the aurora. You could look at cities going by at night. You could look at the ocean, the clouds, lightning. So it's pretty spectacular. And um, sometimes you, uh, you sort of lose track of where you are uh, over the earth because you're working so hard but it, yeah. it brings you back as soon as you lift your head up and take a look at where you are. And you have to take a moment and stop and appreciate um, what we're doing. It's pretty amazing. Spacewalks are great. Well, this chat can go on, Sunita, but it's fascinating. So happy to talk to you and so totally proud of you. Sunita Williams, thank you very much. Thank you.